Hello fellow travelers, welcome to my channel. I'm Traveling Karina and I'm going to be your guide as we explore the Carnival Vista cruise ship. In this video, I will take you for a tour of the ship, showing you the highlights, share some of the food options and entertainment, as well as provide insights based on my own experiences. All right, I'm going to kick off our journey from the ship's highest point and make our way down. Our first stop is the Serenity area on deck 15. This oasis is exclusively for adults and happens to be one of my personal favorite spots for relaxation. This Serenity area is quite big and has a good assortment of chairs, two hot tubs, and also provides a fresh creation salad bar on sea days that offers a convenient and delicious lunch option. The Carnival Vista offers the Sky Ride, which is a complimentary activity. If you're interested, I recommend trying it out early in your vacation since it may temporarily close due to storms or strong winds. I made the mistake of waiting until the last day only to find it closed because of windy conditions. There is no need to make an appointment, you just show up and wait in line. As we continue to explore the outside decks, I'd like to welcome you to subscribe to my channel. This channel is dedicated to sharing experiences and providing valuable information, all aimed at helping you anticipate what to expect on your vacation. If you're like me, someone who researches everything and wants to see everything before embarking on journeys, I believe that you'll find my channel helpful. Thank you in advance. At the back of the ship, you will find the pizzeria, which is open almost 24 hours a day. It closes for just a couple hours in the early, early morning hours. And over on the other side, you will find the seafood shack. There is an extra cost, so I have not tried any of the menu items, but the option is there. And now we are entering the Lido Marketplace, where you will find complimentary breakfast, lunch, dinner, and late night buffets. Oh, oh, oh. 
From the Lidl Marketplace, you can access two additional dining choices, Cucina del Capitano and Gigi. These options are complimentary during lunchtime. Cucina del Capitano offers a delightful pasta sit-down experience where you select your preferred pasta and toppings and they freshly prepare it for you. Gigi, on the other hand, provides a fantastic Asian sit-down meal that we enjoyed so much that we returned multiple times. Just a heads up, the dishes at Gigi can be a little spicy, so if you have a sensitive palate like mine, be prepared for some heat, but it's definitely worth the adventure. And just outside the marketplace on the Lido deck, you will find the popular Blue Iguana Cantina for burritos and tacos and Guy's Burger. Both are fantastic food options. The Lido deck is also where you will find a lot of the main attractions, including an ice carving, pool activities and games, the sail away party, and at some point during your cruise, you may wake up to a towel animal takeover for picture taking. This is also where you will find the outdoor movies playing on the big screen. Now let's make our way down to deck 6. What's exciting about this deck is the presence of an IMAX theater. Yes, you heard it right, the Carnival Vista has a movie theater where you can watch first run movies for a fee while cruising. We couldn't resist this unique experience and had a blast. It's just like going to the movies at home, complete with the option of purchasing popcorn, snacks, and beverages. Also found on this deck is the arcade. I apologize, this is the point where my video coverage gets a little shaky. Unfortunately, I didn't realize until I got home that the stabilization feature on my GoPro was turned off. I must have hit a button without knowing. As a result, there may be some moments ahead where the video quality is not as steady as I would have liked. We are now in the Havana Bar. While the bar itself is open to all cruise ship guests, there is an exclusive outdoor section connected to it reserved for those staying in Havana staterooms. And that is what I'm going to show you right now. This area requires wristbands to enter. Welcome to the Ocean Plaza, where you will find a bar that also acts as a second Java Blue Cafe location. Ocean Plaza is the destination for live music, trivias, karaoke nights, and even the opportunity to master the iconic three, thriller four, dance. Five together, six, look right, look up, clap, one, two, three, four, five together, six, look left, up, scary knees, and up, scary knees, and up around. Step outside these doors to discover Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue Steakhouse, open only for lunch on sea days. It's an absolute must try, and I personally dine here on almost every sea day. Um, no, 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 no. Thank you. When you come back inside, you are met with the main Java Blue Cafe location. 
While the desserts here certainly look tempting, I've personally sampled them on two separate occasions and found that, in my opinion, they don't justify the additional cost. I'd suggest opting for the complimentary desserts available on the Lido deck instead. The atrium, spanning three levels, decks three to five, was my favorite spot to relax and socialize. I loved the centerpiece bar with its always changing funnel displays, and the staff consistently created delicious drinks. My favorites were the tiramisu martini and the mocha chocolate getaway. If you enjoy sweets, definitely give them a try. In the evenings, a violin trio played which I absolutely adored. They are very talented and we just stayed there for hours listening to them play. The 70s Motown and White Hot Parties were also held here, igniting everyone's excitement. Such a great experience, and I met so many wonderful people here. The Liquid Lounge is your destination for bingo, deal or no deal, informative talks, nightly shows, and a variety of other activities. Limelight Lounge is where they host comedy shows, the nightclub, and the silent disco. I tried the silent disco for the first time on this cruise, and my first experience was fantastic. It's a unique and fun place where you can choose between two different music genres while wearing headphones, and everyone is dancing to the style they enjoy the most. Give it a try on your next cruise. The Reflections Restaurant is where you eat in the evening if you choose the assigned dining option. We always choose this, but that's because it is our personal preference. Having a dedicated table and familiar staff every evening enhances our experience. Plus, we enjoy the nightly entertainment they provide.
However, if this doesn't suit your taste, Carnival also offers the My Time dining option, allowing you to dine at your convenience. I'd like to give a special thank you and shout out to Putu and Renaissance. Putu loves to sing and dance and Renaissance is such a cutie. We had so many laughs and great times with both of them.